In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert a Word document into a PDF document in Windows 11. Now, I happen to be using Windows 11, but this works the same in Windows 10. So if you're using that, it's really more Word specific than it is operating specific. So let's jump over to Microsoft Word and I'll show you how to do this. Here I am in Microsoft Word editing a document. I have my navigation pane on the left so I can navigate the document. And I have Pro Writing Aid open on the right so that I can copy edit the document as I write. So this is the basic layout of my screen. And up here is the menu and the menu ribbon. So typically what you do if you want to save a document is you go File and then you go Save. The other thing that you can do is you can click the little Save icon up here on the uh, title bar to save a document. But what you'd be doing is you'd be saving the document as a docx file, which is a Word-specific file. Now you can share this around. I think that Microsoft even provides a reader <clears throat> for docx files that's free. However, it's not as portable as another format, which is PDF format or a .pdf file. PDFs can be sent to email readers and all kinds of things to browse. And the Acu Acrobat reader is probably the most popular reader of PDF files. You can also edit them directly if you get a PDF editor. Now, what? so if I go to file and I do save, or if I click the save, I'm saving a docx or a native WordPress file. How do I get a PDF file? Well, instead of save, I go to file and I pick export. Now, right away, it gives you the create PDF or XPS file option, but also it gives you a change file type. So I can generate a text file, a web page, rich text format, and all kinds of stuff with change file type. But what I want, or I can send the document to a Kindle. That's interesting. I've never seen that before. And then you can create a PDF. Now a PDF is also very portable. So to create PDF, you just click on PDF and it asks you, where do you want to store your PDF file? By default, it names it after the title of your Word document, just like it would if you saved a Word docx file with dot the dot PDF prefix. Now I go ahead and I say publish. And the little uh, circle is spinning, and there, it's done. And it throws you in to view the PDF file in Edge, in this case, because we're running Windows 11, and that's kind of the default browser for showing things like that. And here's the PDF file version of the docx file that I was just working on. Now, I can take this PDF file, and I can ship it around to people and share it. Now remember, this is a copy of your Word file. So if you come back and you modify your Word document, you should save it as a docx file. And at some point when you're ready to release this document, go ahead and re-export your PDF file and replace the old one. So that's how to generate a PDF file from Microsoft Word in Windows 11.